What's up guys? Today I'm finally back doing another video, this time on my Revenge of the Sith figures. Now, these took a long time to do, and I've been waiting so long to do this video, but the reason why I haven't been posting for like, I think now two weeks, and it's, been, it's mainly because of my exams I've been doing, because, yeah, that, that has been making me like quite stressed a lot, and trying to stop me from posting videos, that's what the exam has been doing at the moment. So, I just had no time to record anything, mainly because of that reason. But hey, I'm finally back now, so without further ado, let's get a better look at all six of these. So first up, here is Anakin Skywalker. Now, this guy I had to update. He was definitely due an update, because the previous one that I made, like, last year, for the Clone Wars coming back, that one was so bad. I literally didn't like anything about that besides the torso. But to be honest, I still have like all these parts like from that minifigure, just with a couple of updates. So the updates being the coat. This entire coat was fully custom made. Same style I've done for Hellboy and like other minifigures that I've made. And he has a little bit of fabric on his legs now. Like the bits of fabric here, those were glued on with the same material as this. And the torso is exactly the same as the one from the previous me figure. So like, this torso design is exactly the one from the previous one that I took. I literally just took that off that me figure. And the hairpiece was the exact same one. The lightsaber, the lightsaber has not changed. And it's made in his hand properly. He has a little bit of arm detail which is exactly the same. So the only things that are new on this guy are the scar on his left eye there and his coat, and the bits of fabric on the belt. Other than that, it's the exact same one. Oh yeah, the face is new. The face is a lot better than the previous one as well. It's like the Hayden Christensen head from like the Republic gunship set or whatever. So I'm really happy with the new Anakin variant, and I think it turned out pretty sweet, and it's definitely a massive improvement to my previous one. Next up is Obi-Wan Kenobi. And this guy is also um, another great minifigure that I made. Basically, he has a new face and a new everything for that matter. Because the previous one that I made back then, when the Clone Wars dropped, like with that season 7 like trailer, same thing as Anakin, I just really did not like that minifigure I made back then. But this is a lot better. Like the hairpiece and all are just so amazing. The torso is definitely inspired by Anakin's and my previous Obi Wan. And let's look at the back. So, yeah. I just love how the fabric turned out on that. The same material was used on the belt as the torso. And everything was fully painted aside from the eyes. And the mouth, I think, was the same. And the cheekbones were not painted. So, I think the head was a Legolas head. Let's check. Was it a Legolas head? Of course it was. So yeah, I had one of those lying around and I thought I'd use it. And I painted the beard in a brownish grey colour. And painted the eyebrows like in the black colour that they are. And his wrists are painted. I have like the grey designs on his hands that I painted on. You can see them there. And his lightsaber is actually a massive improvement as well. Got the blue blade and the painted detail that was missing from the previous variant and I think that turned out pretty nice with all its details and his legs are on there as well, he has his boots and they actually wrap around all four sides so I really love how those legs turned out and the torso and everything I think this is probably the best Obi-Wan figure I've made and the hairpiece was a Mutt Williams hairpiece just in that ginger colour well you know it's like the blondish colour, if you know what I mean. I just cut off the front section and re sculpted it and repainted the entire thing. I don't know if it was a ginger colour, what, what colour? Oh, it was a brown one. I painted it in that like orangish colour and read on the front of the hair and gave him the grey highlights on the side. And yeah, other than that, that's pretty much it for everyone. And yeah. For the third minifigure of the video, here is R2D2, 
Now this guy was so complex to do. Everything on him took a long time, but I'm really happy with the end result. So it started out as a base of like the regular RTD2 minifigure that we got, and I'm pretty sure you guys know what that looks like. So I just took that minifigure and left the face print like exactly how it was, and painted like the grey studs on the on the torso. But these grey studs I repainted, and I left the printing on the back how it was. Even though there's no printing on the back of the torso. And the legs were painted with those mechanical designs. The front was repainted and inspired by Legos. And the bottom has, you know, it has that stud shoved in. or It's like a Technic piece that I glued into the bottom. Along this cheese slope. And it has all the mechanical details. And other than that, that's pretty much it for him. I mean, he definitely took a long time. And it's one of the most complex minifigures I've ever made. But I love how this guy turned out. So incredibly detailed, I guess. I mean, some of the black lines are a bit too, like, messed up, but... They're fine. It gets the job done. You can tell it's RTD too, so... Not much else to say about him. Moving on. Next up, here is Padme. And this minifigure turned out really nice as well. I basically got everything accurate from the torso up. So her legs are just completely... Decided to wing it. I have no idea if her legs are accurate, but that's how I portrayed them. And I think it looks pretty nice, if I do say so myself. And her torso was, of course, fully painted. And she has the fingerless gloves that I painted the grey on. And she has the double, like, double molded arms, kind of. And those painted the grey on them as well. The head was like this A wing pilot head. It was in this microfighter set from Kylo Ren vs an A-Wing pilot. I just took that and left it alone because it looks alright. And her hairpiece was a standard Lego bun hairpiece. I sculpted the ponytail on the back and glued it on because I'm afraid it might fall off at some point. And the back of her torso is equally as detailed. That's not really... It's like under detailed but it's fine. It works. And yeah, other than that, another simplistic minifigure. A lot of these figures are basically quite easy to make, although the, the design may look complex, but I, I portrayed it really nicely. So other than that, that's it for Padme. Oh my god, here's another Samuel Jackson character that I've finally made again. Because in the past I've made Nick Fury, but now I'm making Samuel Jackson as Mace Windu. Oh wow. I mean, it's not really that exciting, but I have him here in this video. Because I love how Samuel Jackson portrays him in the movie. Oh, that's a bit loud. And just to get out of the way, because, you know, it kind of is cut off in the shot. His lightsaber is just on the floor at the moment. So his lightsaber is basically a spring low shooter piece. Like painted in purple, shoved into a hilt piece. And, yeah, other than that, that's the, that's the lightsaber. And the rest of the minifigure... The head was like this fin head, I think. I just painted a mouth and eyebrows. And the cheekbones were painted. If you'll focus, that'd be a great thing to do at this point. Because obviously it's out of focus. It's bringing it closer. Come on, you're, you're stalling me, camera. You can kind of see it. So everything was erased but the eyes and everything else was repainted. And the face on the back was erased. Cause, well, painted over because... We don't want to see a second face for Mace when you're on the back. His arms were painted in that brown colour, my own brown colour. His robes were painted. I also painted on, well actually I sculpted his jacket. I think that turned out pretty nice. His legs have barely anything on them because there's barely anything on them in the movie. To my knowledge. So I just painted on an extension of his robe thing. So that turned out pretty nice and don't mind it. And then there's his back which is... There's nothing on his back, not much to see. But other than that, again, another simplistic minifigure. Besides Obi-Wan and Anakin, he's like... I think the rest of these are simple. So yeah, one more minifigure to go, and then it's over. If you know what I mean, yeah. So, if you'll focus, so I can end this segment, that'd be nice. Please focus. Well, you see him anyway, so, moving on. 
And for the final minifigure of this video, here is Chancellor Palpatine. And so, I enjoyed his appearance in the film, especially that one line that he has. So, yeah. And that one line just made me want to make him because that meme was so great, I guess. Not really. But the one thing that I like about this minifigure is the head. This head was actually like, I think it's one of the best likenesses I've gotten to an actor in the while. This face just nails the likeness, in my opinion, to Chance of Palpatine. So if we will focus, I would love to have it focusing at the moment, clearly. Um, we can see it on the head already. So I have no idea whose head this was, please focus, for the love of God. Um, I have no idea whose head this was. But I erased everything except for the eyes and, like, the little wrinkles. I just painted the mouth, painted the eyebrows, and while it's not focusing, you can kind of make it out. And the hairpiece is standard Widow's Peak hairpiece, because you've seen that before. And there you go, there's a better look at the face, kind of. The torso has the sculpted robes, like, on the side, similar to Mace Windu. And he has the black arms, so that was nice. And he has the extension of the robes going down to the legs. And other than that, not much else to say, he's, again, he's like the simplest one in the video, next to Mace Windu. So other than that, that's it for this, and let's go ahead and wrap this up. Alright guys, that is it for my Revenge of the Sith showcase. Now I've been having these guys, like, made for quite some time. All six of these, like I said, took a long time to make. Regardless of how simplistic they look, they definitely serve their purpose, or something. But if you enjoyed how these six turned out, please, please be a G and, you know, hit the like button down below. That was a bit cringy, I don't know why I said that. But, yeah, just, if you want to support the channel, hit the like button and subscribe, and get me to 40 subs. Whoever's the 40th subscriber gets a shout out in my next video, so that'd be nice. And, as for future projects... I have Far From Home happening, I have a lot of those figures finished at the moment and I'm going to have them showcased this July, but before that I have a birthday haul video that I'm probably going to put up, and I even have a Pikachu custom from Detective Pikachu, haven't yet watched the film but he looks cool, so, and I also have some Star Wars figures as well coming after Far From Home, like some Phantom Menace figures, and you know, figures like that, so, if you want to look forward to all these projects that I have coming soon, hit the like button, subscribe, and do all the other things that YouTubers tell you to do. Other than that, I'll catch you guys in my next video, and hopefully it will not be another week, but we'll see. So, peace.